Here we are, time for our next instalment on dry flies for our, our short stream season. When we turn to the spring and summer months on our short streams, we are blessed by really good hatches of, of small olives, little upwing flies that, that really bring the trout up to the surface. And this, the duck's done, is a perfect imitation for that time. To tie the duck's done, um, we use size 16, 18s and even 20s because we're trying to represent these small olives. And when tying these small flies, uh, we need a thread that's up to the task. Here I have a pale olive uh, wax silk uh, in an 18-0. That's a really fine thread to allow me more thread turns. Um, so I can really tighten in any materials that I want to add in. So I'll start by laying a thread wrap. Cut off the excess there. And we're going to start by taking this in line with the points of the hook and preparing our tail. Uh, the tail for this particular fly uh, is just five or six fibres from a cream hackle. Uh, so we want quite a pale tail. And we can make it quite short in length. And we do that by matching it up dropping the thread over and then taking our turns to the end of the shank there and that's got our tail in place. Once the tail is secure and we're happy we can trim away the excess hackle fibers there and begin to build up our body. For this I've gone with a super fine dubbing uh, in, a, in a creamy olive colour. Um, this particular colour is referred to as Danica uh, and it's being a super fine dubbing it's got quite a long strand to it and we want to just pair it up just spin using the thumb and forefinger just a tight bit at the top slide that up to the shank of the hook and place one locking turn in we can then do a thing called noodling where we really tighten that dubbing up and begin to build our body going forward. We want to allow that cream to take effect and build a slight taper going forward. The key here is not to go too far forward on the fly because we want plenty of room for the wing and the hackle that we're going to add. So well build that body up there and it's looking nice. Our next step with the duck's done is to add the, the wing that we want to uh, to replicate uh, this little olive and here I've paired up three natural uh, quite pale CDC feathers uh, which are perfect to create the wing of this fly and I want to match it up just so it overshoots the body slightly. Clamp that in place, loop and drop that down on top. Then using my thread just tighten it all in place and then I can trim off the excess there. Hide it away under the thread and the bit I do next is just take a fraction more dubbing, not a huge amount. I'm using this for one particular purpose. Let's tighten it up there and I hold the wing forward and just add that ball of thread and dubbing behind and you see how that just picks the, the wing up and a couple of tidying turns in front and that just helps lift everything forward and splay it open. And then we add our hackle. Here I've got a really nice just soft grey genetic hackle. Uh, I want that consistency of, of hackle length for this particular fly and I've prepared it earlier so I've removed any fibres from the stem and I can put my strong thread wraps there, trim away the excess 
And then what we do is we build up a little layer of dubbing that we can then hackle on top of. And again, less is very much more when you're doing this. So just a handful of dubbing turns just and what I like to do here because we're hackling right to the front is just reposition the hook slightly so it's angled up and that saves anything falling forward off the hook take our hackle pliers and we're gonna ease the hackle forward just to soften it up and then just begin to work that forward with that so we can stroke it back slightly another turn one more take that round there so that's three turns and then on this fourth we'll bring it up on our side run the thread through it Let's take everything and stroke it back and take the thread in front to help lock everything down there and then breathe in at this point go in with your scissors cut it out and then make sure everything's secure in there take your whip finish tool and lock it all off in place try not to trap anything in make sure it's all neat and tidy in there once we've removed the thread from the fly the fly's not quite finished yet you can help just position the hackle and then I go in underneath and just trim some of those hackle fibers back to about half their length. Only the ones on the underside creating a little V shape and what that does is it allows the fly to sit a bit closer to the water looking more like the real inset freshly hatched out and stood proud on top of the water perfect for a trout to come up and eat if you like this video please like and subscribe to our youtube channel uh, for more like it in the future